hey guys, I'm sitting here making a blog article, a blog post, and I decided it might be good to capture the screen and kind of share with you guys my thoughts, uh, my feelings on what it means to make a powerful blog post. So uh, forgive me, I'm sitting on my couch and I'm a little hoarse, I'm just coming over a cold and I don't have my, uh, my really nice microphone so I'm basically just talking into the computer mic. So I hope the audio is okay but I wanna share with you, I'm in the middle of making a post, let's get into some of the mechanics and some of the mindset that goes behind every post that I make. Uh, first of all, I, I wanna share that when I make any type of media, I like to make a Google Doc. Now I have a lot of folders. I'm gonna go, let me just go to my drive real quick. You can see I got a ton of folders here and I, I got a ton of articles. I literally have articles dating back to 2006 when Google Drive was in beta. I do everything on Google Drive. Google Drive is free. Google Drive is free, it's cloud-based, it's available on any appliance that connects to the internet, whether it's a tablet or a phone, or laptop, it doesn't matter. And uh, ultimately, if you're using you know, Microsoft Office 2007 or whatever, it's probably time that you just adopt, you know, uh, using a cloud-based solution. And the reason I'm showing you this before I get to my blog post is I like to write all my articles in Google Drive. Now I'm going to go to my Selly Talks folder. And by the way, you can see that the folders that I frequent and have it, I color code so I can navigate to them quick. I can, you know, I can see them easily and quickly. Okay, so you can see here I got a lot of articles here. So when I write an article, I just I start a new uh, doc, you know, I name my article and I start writing. Now I get all of the, you know, all of the goodness that comes with a word processor, right? I get my spell check and, and I can make a beautiful article here. But the reason that I do that is whether it's going to be an audio or a script or it's just going to be an article, once I get it in here, it's archived forever. It's here for all posterity. And then once I get it done, maybe I don't get it done in, in, in one felt swoop, right? Maybe I come back to it the next day or a week later or even sometimes months go by before I finish an article. But once I get it finished, then I can simply go to my blog, do a new blog post, and then I can add it. And I got a lot of stuff running here. So let me shut some of these windows so I can maybe save some, uh, save some uh, computing power. Okay, so let's go over back over to the blog. So what I've done is I've pasted the article in here. And now I'm going to go through and I'm going to make it pretty. Now I have a really nice WordPress template that has a, a lot of nice um, um, codes that I can use. Like, you know, there's a code that makes, uh, that capitalizes a letter here. I can make this a square or a circle. And then what I like to do, because I really believe that the articles that um, have the most pop are the articles that are visually pleasing. Now I'm a graphics guy, so what I do is I try to uh, imagine a picture that is going to go along with the subject, and then I try to customize it. So here I found this dog with you know with the muffin on his nose, and we're talking about self-discipline. Well, how many people have felt like this? Have you ever felt like you got a muffin on your nose and, and you're just like struggling not to like you know open your mouth and eat it, right? And and I put some custom text in here. Are you really self-disciplined? Now another thing that I like to do is because so many people are stealing images, I like to put my logo in here. I like to put my brand in there. So if, if someone's gonna take this image, uh, they're gonna be advertising me. Sometimes you can even put, or you might even wanna put, you know, your domain name in there, right? So as I'm reading through my article, and now I like to make these images 900 wide when I center them. They're 900 pixels wide. Uh, my blog is actually probably about 980 wide, but I, I, I leave a little room on either side by making it 900 pixels wide. Here, I'll show you my graphics editor. Um, so here's that image that I made. Uh, hang on. And the width has a lot to do with what makes people emote, right? Here's some custom text. Now I'm keeping uh, with the theme of my website with these colors, right? Because these are the colors of my logo. And you see these colors all throughout my website. My colors are orange, this light blue, a dark blue, white, and black. And it's a really nice color scheme because it gives me a really wide range of the palette with which I can use to emote via text and via graphics. So let's go back to the blog post. Here, you know, we, we've got this first image. It's going great. We're talking about this syndrome of, of uh, you know, uh, self-discipline. And then I start talking about the willpower myth. Now, I just had my logo up here. So down here, I just put my little symbol. And again, it's, it's just something that may just thwart somebody from saving this 
because you're like, well, I like this picture, but you know, gosh, I don't, I don't like that. And you know, if they're going to use my stuff, they're going to advertise me in some way, shape, or form. So now as I'm going through my article, I'm going to continue reading, and then I'm going to start to think of images uh, that can go to intersperse throughout the article or some formatting or some quotes. You know, I got two images pretty close together here, so I'm not going to worry about putting an image on this line of text. Something that needs to be done that hasn't been getting done, you tell yourself you need to do it. Here's an example. All right, now we're talking about brushing your teeth right, uh, which is a success habit that your parents taught you. So I went and I found this image. Now I'll give you a little hack for saving images too. When you find an image, and you have to kind of know that it's a royalty-free image, like this is, this is a stock photo image. Now it's on someone else's blog, but because they didn't put their branding on it, I'm gonna grab it. And this isn't really uh, unethical, because this is a royalty-free image. So I'm just gonna say, I'm gonna call it toothbrush. And this is what I love. You, you name it something easy and intuitive, and you put it in a place where you're going to start gathering images for your blog, right? So I, you know, I have a folder called JPEGs. So I'm going to drop it there. Then I'm going to go over to my graphics editor, and I'm just going to type toothbrush. So I don't have to go navigating to it. Of course, I, I can just open that folder, uh, but you know, in a pinch. And I'm going to drop it in here. Now it's bigger than my 900 wide deal, so I'm just going to size it. And <clears throat> what we're doing is we're building uh, media assets that really kind of uh, make the article more sticky. They, they kind of cause people to emote. They make people, you know, feel good about their experience of, you know, reading what we're writing. You know, uh, they're smelling what we're stepping in, in other words. So now I'm thinking that I want to get a little creative with this, right? And I just want to throw some text in here really quick. I use a, a couple of fonts. I use um, like a handwritten font. It's always the same one. It's called, um, I think it's called Sunshine or a Little Sunshine. Uh, a Little Sunshine. And I like this handwritten font. So you'll see this font in particular throughout the blog. Maybe bold it. Maybe make it uh, just a little bigger, say 106. <clears throat> so that's kind of cool. And that, now the other thing that I can do, as I said, is I want to always put my branding in all my images. Some people think that that's um, egotistical, but what it really is is you just don't want to miss an opportunity to get your brand out there. You know, I mean. You don't want to miss any opportunity. Now you see how there's a lot of blue and white in this uh, in this picture, and the blue of my name is you know it just there's not enough contrast. A couple things I could do. I could throw a uh, a shadow on there, make it pop, and obviously my logo's too big. So what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to copy this, so I still have one on the on the palette that's that size, and I'm just going to hit E. I'm going to erase my little tagline. We don't need that. This is a JPEG. This is just a, a JPEG of, I, I mean, forgive me, a PNG of my logo. And then I'm just going to squish this down. It doesn't have to be huge. We don't want it to detract from the spirit of what the picture is emoting. Let's just put this somewhere down here. See, it still looks crap without without the drop shadow. The other thing that I can do is instead of a drop shadow, I can I can throw like a glow on it, and sometimes uh, that's better. Maybe like a just a, a simple white glow. Yeah, the white glow's not pop. I'm gonna go back to the uh, drop shadow. You know, and the, the neat thing about this stuff is, you know, even though I've been doing this a long, long time, it's still a lot of it is still trial and error for me. So. Um, that's kind of the fun, you know, like I find it therapeutic. Here I am, I'm sitting on my couch, I got my, my legs crossed, I got a, a pillow on my lap, I got my uh, laptop on the pillow, and here I am just kind of doing my thing. Let me get this centered here. I think that looks good. <clears throat> so now we know we have the, the picture that's the right size, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna export it. I'm gonna call it Success Habits 1. And then I'm going to go over to the blog, and I'm going to drop it in. 
I'm going to start right at the beginning of the paragraph. I'm going to add media, upload files, and instead of going and navigating to the phone, I'm just going to say success habits. There, well, look, there's another one I did uh, for a post I did a while back. Isn't that interesting? That's not a bad looking graphic either, but since I've already made this one, I don't know, I think I like this better. <laughs> Well, since I've already made this one, let's go go with this one, and we'll go. We're gonna make. We want it to be centered. We want it to be full size. A lot of people will get into captions and alt text and description. I don't know, man. I just think it's it's a lot of extra work. So now you can see this article, right? We we, we have some great graphics. The colors are popping, and it's it's more compelling. Can't can't you see the difference between a, a blank white page with black text? and a page that has these beautiful graphics that are kind of leaping off the page and making the user experience just more um, visceral, more uh, you know, emotive. I really love that. And so I'm just going to continue to do this all throughout the article until I get to the end and then I'm going to save it. Now let me just, uh, for the sake of this video, let's go uh, to, the, to the front of the site. Let me save my work here though. Hang on. Same draft. Let's go to the front of the site and um, let's look at some of the other articles so you'll see what I mean instead of me uh, instead of me uh, showing you behind WordPress. Let's look at the front of the site. And let's just grab, what, what's nice is if, if you do it right, if you're consistent, any article that you hit is going to have, look at a nice big emotive image, right? We have quotations going on. We have some, some nice graphics. You know, this is just an image I found online. Uh, you know, we have small images, we have big images. And it just, it makes the article so much more uh, pleasing on the eyes, so much more fun uh, to read, so much more um, engrossing. Here's one, you know, cast a vision. I found this eyeball, I, I put some, custom text there you can see I matched the colors of the text to the colors that were already in the shot did some nice uh, uh, quotations there which is part of my theme here's a, uh, a left justified image you know I put some custom text on there every image you, you can see there's that uh, sunshine font again every image is custom uh, most every image is branded with my logo uh, and then I like to do something personal I like to you know, there, there's a personal quote. There's a, a picture of me looking kind of puffy in the face. Um, but it's it's kind of like you're you're leaving your trademark, and you are um, you're you're giving people your brand. You're you're solidifying your brand in the mind of the user. And this is really what it takes to make you know. Look, it used to be you know like 10 years ago when you were doing blog posts, um, you wanted to make sure that you had really you know. Uh, highly optimized images because load times were an issue but the internet's so fast these days here's an article I wrote about a friend of mine that's now passed um, you can see I like to end every article with something inspirational you make the world a better place when your data be great there's another uh, personal quote from yours truly so you kinda get the picture ladies and gentlemen it's worth the extra time because your brand is everything Here, here's a great one I wrote be like Bob I took uh, I took an image from uh, What About Bob, one of my favorite movies. There's Bill Murray being a goofball. Uh, and, you know, I I'm going to say where I kind of got this feeling. I remember when I was little, and my mom would take me to the pediatrician. I'm talking when I was really little, like when I was 8, 9, 10, 11. She'd take me to the pediatrician, and in the doctor's office, they had those, uh, those, those children's magazines called Highlights. Do you remember Highlights? And highlights was so cool because it was filled with awesome emotive pictures and you know little little stuff little little uh, stuff that you could do inside the book you know you could you know uh, connect the dots and all that stuff. So I try to think about that you know I, even though we're adults I try to make a blog post that makes you really go ah especially if you're looking at this stuff uh, full screen. You know, I, I try to make a blog post that really makes you feel like you're in the blog post. You know, here at the end, life is an epic adventure. And there's a, a picture of my shiny, happy face in a helicopter flying over Daytona Beach, you know, with my branding. 
And so you try to make the article or the blog post an experience, and it really sets you apart from every other blogger. Now, there's a lot of other stuff that you can do when you're making articles, and, and you can tag other people, and, and, and you can quote other people and link to them and give them uh, editorial credit. And there's a lot of other stuff to do, but today I'm kind of just wanting to talk about graphics and branding and establishing your brand and making an article that really is sticky and really compels the, the, the user. Because what happens is the pictures kind of keep them engrossed and engaged and make them want to continue reading. Also, you know, you want to put spaces, you want to, uh, you know, you want to make the text as easy to peruse as possible. So you put ample spaces and you don't give them too much to uh, absorb before you give them a space, before you give them a break, right? Anyway, that's my two cents. I hope this screencast has blessed you. And just keep on coming back. I'm always going to be doing more training, more tutorials, more tips, more tricks, more free content. Because I love you guys in a supernatural way. And until next time, this is Tom Selle saying thanks and God bless.